Awesome. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, Ringo Flats, back, finally, with a new episode of Pokemon Omega Super Pearl, or whatever it's called. Uh, this is it. We're back. Uh, lots change in a month. I think it's been about exactly a month since my last episode of Pokemon has come out. Uh, and a lot has changed since then. If I am correct, let me go and see. Uh, August 7th, so it's September, so it's a little over a month, month and a half. But I did say I, it could be possible I'd be back in October, and obviously I'm not back in October, so here we are. Uh, stuff that's happened on the channel recently. While I was gone, I went to England and stuff, and uh, got s spent a lot of time moving back. But uh, I've a lot's happened to the channel, like I said, uh, recently. I, I've been posting a lot of shorts, so just random stuff like me and my brother playing with lightsabers and stuff. I've been getting some good views, more than I've ever gotten on any of my normal videos. Uh, and I've got a lot of subscribers now compared to what I have. I now have a, it says 99, but we can basically just say 100. So in a, a month and a half, I've stepped up from, I think, 14 subscribers. No, it fell down to uh, 11 subscribers at one point back. Now up to basically 100. So thank you all for that. Uh, so looking back through my shorts, my first one, big one got 2,000 views, which is awesome. Second one got a thousand or 2,000. Uh, third one was uh, just showing my playlists, which I didn't get as many views. But then I posted a NASCAR. I went to the Daytona night race, which was at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning because rain. And uh, I got 140,000 views and 1,000 likes. So, uh... And a few dislikes too. I did one of me on a roller coaster. I did make, I did some face reveals basically. Recorded one about the uh, United Kingdom, about the uh, royal situation. But uh, yeah, I've been getting a lot more views than I ever have. And uh, I've learned some new tricks and stuff. So hopefully the recording process is going to be a lot easier. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing, because I'm right now looking for a job and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the full five videos a week. Like I have been, I might try to just do three higher quality videos. I think I said before that I want to like start editing them more. So I think I might do Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. Maybe not. If I find it easy to do that, even with the job and stuff, I might still do the five days a week. But you'll just have to see. This will be coming out on a Saturday. So this is just a little special one off the being back recording. But yeah, uh, I have not touched this game since I last left so I don't know where we are I forgot what Pokemon I have let's see what I've got ah yes a nice good little group I remember I got some good badges at the end there when I was grinding those last episodes I recorded that all in a session I actually did it a different way that time which I think I might start doing I don't know though I uh, recorded them all and uh, I just had a bunch of videos saved up but I edited them all and like one night it sucked but it was a uh, it was very rewarding so I was able to post for like two weeks on a nice little stash of Pokemon. Okay, so I've got four badges, so we're halfway there. Or at least with the badges. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't know what we're doing, but we can take a look at the map here and see. Okay, so we're in the right town. We probably need to go into the Safari Zone. That would be my assumption. I don't even know if there is a gym here. If there is. Oh, I think I already did the gym here. Maybe. I don't know. I'm so lost. <laughs> this is a cool little town, though. But I think we just need to go into the Safari Zone. Oh, what did you say? Flippy fell down and got a little frustrated. Good. 
Yeah, this is this is the water badge. We already did this one. Very fun. Yeah, okay. So I guess we should just go into the safari zone, I assume. Look at my character, Ringetta and her cute little outfit. Hello, who are you? Talk to me. Tell me. I'm not imagining this. The Great Marsh's Pokemon seem to be different from the ones yesterday. There are shuttle trains in the marsh called Quick Tram. You should take one of those if you're going to a deeper area in the marsh. When you're walking on the bog, you sometimes sink right in. I get so flustered trying to get out. I have no luck catching anything. What do you have to say? Use a pair of binoculars to look out over the Great Marsh. You can see what kinds of Pokemon can be caught and where they are. A hundred dollars? Heck yeah. Ooh. I'd like to get me one of those little boys. Ooh. Okay, so story about... I'm not sure if it's that Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Good. Uh, I believe... Is that the right Pokemon? I'm not sure. I have, so, that might be the evolution of the Pokemon I got, but while I was in England, uh, I went to this awesome thing. I went to the Pokemon World Championship. It was in London when I was there, and I went to the Poke Shop there. It was awesome. It took like two hours in the line, but it was worth it. Bought a whole bunch of stuff, but I found, uh, or I bought the two exclusive plushies. One's a Pikachu in like a British uniform, and the other one is... I believe that roast Pokemon. Uh, so I don't I don't know. Uh, but I think that's the right Pokemon. All you can catch for five hundred dollars. I don't really know what I want to catch here. Going deep in the marsh, I recommend you take the Great Marsh Quick Trans. I'm just kind of here to look around. Okay, Area 1 had uh, a little Azul boy, or whatever you've called. I really, I don't think I've ever been to Safari Zone in any other game I've played, so I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Hey, a Hoot Hoot. I've had a Hoot Hoot before. Uh, is that something I want to catch, though? It's kind of a high level. I don't think I do want that. What does this mean, mud? <laughs> I have to fight him? This is great. Uh oh. He ran away. A whooper. Throw a ball at it. Good. Cool. Which doesn't Whooper turn into Quag Sire? Uh, his name will. Her name will be Traldor. Uh, add to my box. I don't want Wooper with me yet. Cool. 
I've been thinking recently about the next game I'm gonna play after this. I don't remember if I had a plan or not before this, but uh, I definitely know some games I wanna play. Like I said before I left, I want to start doing a slightly more adult content. Not super, like, I'm not gonna be completely vulgar, but uh, let's go to area four. I do want to, uh, you know, maybe play some more adult games. I, they did just release the name for the new Zelda game and uh, some more trailer footage. It, it says, I think it says it's coming out May, like, 13th or something like that. But obviously I'm very excited that I'm going to play. That'll be on the channel. I'll stop whatever series I'm playing, then we'll go straight to that. Maybe I'll do some double series, I don't know, but... Obviously, I'm super excited for that, so I don't want to. Don't want to leave that one out, you know. Uh, I think I want to play Saints Row 3, not the new Saints Row. It looks stinky. I've been watching people play it. It looks pretty bad, so uh, not that. But uh, no, I don't need another one of you. Yeah, there's a bunch of games I would like to play. I might play another Mario game. I don't know. It is kind of close to a Mario game, so maybe not sandwiching. Although, it's been so long. And this has been kind of a long series. And obviously not my longest series. That was Breath of the Wild. So expect when Breath of the Wild 2 comes out for that. It'll be a super long... Yes! I want one of these old boys. But, uh... Yeah. I'll, I'll just have to decide what I want. No! I wanted the little boy. I'm still a little bit confused exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Why does Hoot Hoot have a uh, one leg? For 500, this place is a pretty cool place to go. No! <laughs> Man, my one chance to catch a Azuril and it's failed. Please. No! <laughs> I've already got one of you. You stay away. You stay away. I don't need that many whoopers. Aw. I'm gonna go back in for another try. Okay, let me look here and see now if I can recognize some areas to look through. Although, it might, I guess it might, maybe, is it going to change every day? Okay, there's one there. Azuril next to the last station, okay. Quagsire next to the big station. Psyduck next to Netboy. That is a Quagsire, right? I think so. Okay, well, apparently I can catch one at the, uh... I think I can catch one of the little Azul Real Boys. Or girl, I don't know. I think I can catch one at the tops of the station, so I'll go up there first. I assume that's area one all the way up there. Maybe I have to throw mud at it first? I don't know. You're not who are supposed to be here. I get some good level Pokemon too. Stuff that I can put in my party and uh... Move up. Although I do like my party right now, but... I believe that isn't Azurill uh, electric type? I would... I think so.
please? I don't want you. I already have one of you. I don't need another. I guess maybe I need to throw mud at it first, or I can just try to throw the ball at it first. gonna be another one. Yep, I heard it sound. <clears throat> You're wasting my time, Wooper. I love you, though. I have uh, Wooper in one of my main Pokemons before I, I cheated in its Sword and Shield and got myself uh, some Pokemons from my friends. I had a Wooper that turned into a Quagsire, and he was a pretty good Pokemon. He lasted a good while in my party. Before finally getting the boot. What do you have to say? Go upstairs to the observatory of research for Chega Marsh. But how am I supposed to catch the Azuril if it's the. Uh, if it says it's not in the grass? Oh my god! <laughs> Don't want your god dang whooper, man. Oh! That's something different. Uh, let's throw some mud at it. <laughs> it enraged the mother. Throw a ball at it. Cool. I think that's my first uh, grass type, so that that will she'll be good. I don't recognize that Pokemon at all, but it's really cool looking. Uh, it's a boy. I was gonna name it Venus, but uh, Venus. The elbow skin. I might come and get him. I might just get a team. I don't know. I, like I said, I really like my team. But if I find something better, you know. Okay, I don't need two of you. Is this going to be the replacement for Woopert? Someone's gonna comment, you're doing the safari zone wrong. You're just trying to catch as many as you can. I'm not about that life, okay? I ain't about that life. That's a cool one. I had a knocked owl. That's what uh, Hoot Hoot turns into, right? Or am I wrong about that? Uh, let's see if he likes bait. Mud at it. Yeah, okay. It's all right. Ooh. Okay. Very carefully, let's think about what this boy needs. Okay. Um, and by let's think carefully, let's look up. On <laughs> YouTube, exactly what I need to do. Just think, look at him, look how cute he is. Let's watch what this person do, does. Okay, this person just says throw the ball. So let's throw the ball and let's see if we get it.
Yes! Awesome. Okay, so... Azarul turns into Meryl, right? Uh, I'm gonna look that up r real quick. Yes. We'll turn into Azumarill. Maybe. I don't know. Water fairy. Not electric type. Okay. Uh, yes. Plumby. Wait, don't I already have a Plumby? Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay, well, Meryl's just gonna be Meryl. Set to a box for now. Cool. Good little Pokemon we just got there. Is that all I want to do in the Safari Zone? I'm not sure. I'm about to run out of steps, I do believe, so. I guess let's try over here for a second. Maybe get a Psyduck, that would be cool. Okay. Uh, I already... Do I have a Bibril? Yeah, I have, or what turns into a Bibril. Because that's how I keep cutting things open. Okay, I assume this is the dude that's just gonna be over here the entire time. I forgot that I had the special outfit for Ringetta Dawn. Ringetta, Ringetta Dawn. Okay, uh, I think I'm just gonna do this episode right here. I'm gonna do one more time out in the, actually no, before I do that, I'm gonna do one more time out in the marsh. And maybe do something else this episode. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. I can do this episode for as long as I want. I'm just here for the good time. I hope y'all are here for the good time, too. Okay, don't, don't know how that makes sense, but I'll accept it. Ooh, Krogunk. It, yeah, Krogunk, right? I already caught one of you. Ah, well, we can try. I think I'm going to go to Area 3 this time. Uh, and, I don't know. Yeah, let's try Area 3. Psyduck would be cool, although I do already have a good, uh... uh yeah, I don't need to. Be. I do already have a good Psychic-type Pokemon, so it's not really necessary to, uh... catch a Psyduck. Although, I don't know, is Golduck better than, uh, Alakazam? It doesn't really matter. For y'all to decide. I ain't no Pokemaster. I'm working to be a Pokemaster. Oh, a Quagsire. Okay, I basically already have a Quagsire, but it would be kind of cool to catch one already. Uh, let's just throw a ball at it. No. Throw some bait at. He looks hungry. I bet he'll run. He'll flee. Watch. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, okay. I haven't had a uh, second shell break in a while. Okay, I want to go back to the station. I really haven't seen anything over here I like. Or, no, I'll go to the other side here real quick. A 
I guess this is area four over here. I don't want you. I've caught what three Pokemon doing this? Yeah, I got a, I got a Wooper, I got a Plant, and I got a Azrael. Question: Does the Pokemon type change every uh? did three, let's go to area two. Does the Pokemon type change every, uh, like every day? Because I thought that's what that girl said. If so, that's cool. Oh, okay, I understand. I'm not gonna lie, Krogan could be cool. But he's a poison type, right? Well, it'd be just cool getting any Pokemon, really. <laughs> Finally. There you go. <gasps> Psyduck. Okay. Psyduck. I don't want to enrage it. So, if you throw bait at it, what the guy said is it's more likely to get in the ball, but it's uh, also more likely to flee. If you throw mud at it, it's gonna be harder to get into the ball, but it's less likely to flee. So, I say we just throw the ball and pray. Okay, bad move, I guess. No, oh, I wanted him. Alright, I'll stay in this area and see if maybe I can encounter another one. <gasps> well, looks like today's my lucky day. Okay. All right, let's ooh, level 26. Let's throw some food at it. Please don't flee. Now let's throw a ball at him. Please. Yes! Okay. Uh, is Psyduck just a water type? I thought Psyduck was a, uh, psychic too. Uh, he'll be called... What's some duck related? Quackle. Yes, Quackle. Send him to the box for now. Then that's basically all I want from here. Uh oh, got stuck in the mud. Okay. <laughs> so pretty good haul. All right. So now let's go back down. Let's go to the uh, Pokey Center. I guess we don't need to heal anything. Let's look through the box and see if there's anything I want to replace or swap out. Now I do have to remember that I did buy moves for some. Some it's quite expensive move for some of my characters. Uh, so I do need to think. This is not what I needed to. I don't know who Bebe is, but what a name. Okay. I forgot I had a Zubat. So. 
I mean, these guys are higher level. Haze Aqua Tail, Water and Ground type, which Newt Newt is just Water type. I, I think maybe does he become Ice type too, or he knows some Ice moves? Uh, it is a metal move <laughs> and a flying move. Uh, bounce, Aqua Tail, Aqua Ring, play rough. That's kind of cool. So Flappo we know is good. Flibby. We like Flibby. Let's not say we don't like Flibby. Flibby's been a good character. But I guess Flibby's kind of my normal, right? In those cuts, I guess I do need to keep Flibby around. Flappo is really good. And they have a lot of the gems. Newt Newt's also really good, although I don't utilize Newt Newt as much. Causes Psychic. I know I need a good... Watson Zemli, because Watson's an MVP. Watson, Fla Watson Flappo, and Kaza are MVP. Flibby. Newt, I, won't, I don't want to say Newt Newt's uh, uh, not an MVP, but man, recently, I can't, although it's been so long, I can't remember really utilizing. Obviously, it's third level 31. But I, for some reason, I remember Newt Newt dying a lot recently. Obviously, Newt Newt's good against uh, ground type, but so or earth type I don't know but so would Meryl another one and as the fairy attack 17 though what's Newt Newt's attack 55 yeah that's pretty good pretty good defense pretty good speed 31 attack that's pretty good 13 59 that has really good attack that might be a consideration. What would I replace with the Earth type, though? Sixty, forty-five. Sixty and forty-five. That's pretty good. If you're gonna replace anyone, I think I'd replace Flibby. So let's check Flibby stats. Fifty, sixty, sixty-five. The the fighting's a good one, and so is the electric. But do we we have Watson? Hard choice. I really want Meryl on the team. Quack will be cool, but like I said, we already have a good psychic type, and I, if I'm gonna have two water types, I'd rather have Meryl take over for Flibby than Weenus, but also I'm really proud of catching Flibby, but honestly, how many times does Flibby really, you know, step up You know what, we're gonna try it out. So now I have a pretty good, now I have a water, a grass, and a fire type, which is good. And then electric, psychic, and flying. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty even mix there we've got there. Uh, well, we'll just have to see how that party goes. Uh, What else am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I don't I don't know. It says I still need to be here. I assume I just need to go to the safari zone. I guess do I just need to talk around to some people? Who are you? Just like a totally impatient boy I met earlier. Just like you, he was very close with his Pokemon. Hey, thanks for making me smile. These might put a smile on your face. Flora stickers. Impatient. It was probably a, what's my boy's name? Now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. This is an important mission. No failure allowed. No making boo-boos like wandering off into the great marsh. 
you were eavesdropping. I was just talking loudly to myself. I don't remember the voices I gave to the grumps. I gave them all one voice. Oh, didn't I give them, because they're space people, didn't I give them a voice like this? If I wasn't in a hurry, I'd pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to get on my way back to the lake ASAP. So you're lucky I'm out. And oh, and listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> Phew, persistent pest. If our plan works, our boss's dream comes closer to fruition. Boss's ideal world is getting to be created. So, I'm not going to waste my time on nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't you come chasing after me. Oops, <laughs> I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So how's it going when you get it? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? Just like my dad was buffing that bomb he was doing to Vietnam. <laughs> I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. <laughs> I don't know if this is a battle you want to fight there, bud. Buckaroo. Pokemon Trainer Cersei sent out Starling. Go, Watson. end it quick, you know. <laughs> no, yeah, that was quick. Buizel. What's a buizel? I th think I have an understanding of what a buizel is. But I'm not sure. What is a buizel? Uh, water type. Switch Pokemon. Uh, isn't grass good against water type? Definitely not fire. I assume. So, yeah, we'll swap with the... We'll try out our new boy here. Obviously, he's a little bit lower level, so... Go Weenus. <laughs> Weenus. Hey, you're whipping too. Please don't be my attack. Okay, just my defense. Yeah, okay. That that did pretty well. Ooh, Kazo's close to 35. Which now I shouldn't have to worry, because now can I have Pokemon up to 40 or 50? I don't know. Pony duh. Alright, Newt Newt, you take the take the reins. So I, when I was going to England with my friend, he's a big Pokemon fan too, probably a bigger fan than me. I think I've talked about him before. Uh, I was watching, he's obviously, he made, or obviously, he made this game harder for himself apparently. He has like some setting enabled to where he can't see, I think, what their next Pokemon's gonna be that comes out, something like that. And I was like, why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> that's just, that's just, I guess the extra challenge, but he said it wasn't really affecting him until the Elite Four or whatever the big, yeah, the Elite Four at the end. But man, I was watching him on the plane ride there, and the plane line ride from Dallas to London is about 10 hours, 9 hours and 40 minutes, I think. He was doing it the entire time there, the entire time we were on the bus during a bus trip to different locations. Obviously, he wasn't playing a Switch here at the location, we were looking at cool stuff. In the entire plane ride back, uh, maybe he didn't do it the plane ride back, but I think he did. To almost the entire plane ride back, beating, trying to beat this character or beat him with this hard mode, it was it was insane. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just thought it was crazy that I didn't even know you could make Pokemon harder for yourself. But not well. I guess that's not true. Because I guess you could do stuff like, uh... Oh. I, th I thought you could do stuff. 
I'm, gonna, I'm losing track of my thoughts. I know you can make the game harder by doing stuff like a Nuzlocke or something like that, where, you know, you don't get to, uh, choose, or you only get to choose one Pokemon per path, and if you kill it, you just don't get a Pokemon for that path, and if they die, they die forever. Is Flamethrower my super good move? Yeah. Go, Ponyta. A fire-breathing horse. Perfect. Ponyta still has some, uh, or Pooner, as I named her. Er, him. Pooner's a boy. Okay. It has some work to do. Uh, let's flamethrow it again. I don't want to risk, uh, my other moves not doing enough. Okay, so, so far I've liked Weenus on the team. Kaza's level 35, cool. And Newt Newt's leveled up, too. It's Psycho Cut or... What's the one I... I gave him some powerful moves. Yeah, he's got some good moves now. Psychic. Ooh. An odd psychic wave to attack the target. This attack does physical damage. Accuracy 100. I Uh, I mean, I guess this, I mean, this is a great move right here, but this says it does everything, same amount of power and accuracy, and it has the chance to lower the target's speed defense. Yeah, I think, I think I'm doing a good move. I want to keep Flash because I want to, it says it lights up caves and that's pretty cool. I also, I haven't even gone into the underground, which my friend says is a really good idea, but I just haven't done it yet. Stop pressuring me. Okay, so yeah, so the only real damage I took was Pooner right there at the end, and Pooner still won, so I think we have a pretty solid team now. <laughs> yeah, maybe it did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got a beat because I was careless. So hey, what was that Team Galactic guy I'm freaking out about? I don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. If you're not a Pokemon and you run like that, you're a bad guy. Alright, you can get it next time. I'm not holding back, okay? Okay, goodbye. And speaking of goodbye, thank you all for watching this episode. If you liked it, be sure and hit that like button. And if you really liked it, be sure and hit that subscribe button. You... Yes, the first person to hear this could be the 100th subscriber, and uh, I don't know if I, you can get some brownie points? I don't know. I, I don't think I can give you anything specifically, but just know you will forever be in my heart, whoever you are. Although all my subscribers are in my heart, so don't think you're special, but you are special. It's between me and you, you're special, so uh, yeah, with that, have a good day.